God is saying to you today, Someone, you have placed a significant amount of faith and is engaged in deceitful activity. Behind your back with the intention of causing you physical damage and causing you to incur a significant amount of financial loss as a direct result of their activities. When they consider how well you are doing in life and how nice your living is, they suffer a lot of jealous thoughts because it makes them feel like they are missing out on something. God says, I have declared victory, peace, healing, and money blessings over your life and you must always remember that my word is final. I have announced victory, peace, healing, and financial blessings over your life. I have also proclaimed that you will experience these things as a direct consequence of the things that I have declared over your life. Because of me, you have also benefited financially from good fortune. I will not allow any of your adversaries to inflict harm on you while I stand idly by and watch them do it. God wants you to be aware that your adversary is plotting an evil attack that will bring you to your knees and force you to watch while your family sobs in front of you. What your competitor has in mind to do to you in order to damage, your position is of no concern to me at all. Watch this video all the way through to the finish if you want to see miracles happen in your life. Make yourself, if the only thing you own is your trust in God, then you already have all that you could possibly desire or need. This is true even if your faith in God is your only property. If we put our faith in God and rely on Him, there is nothing that He cannot accomplish for us. There are innumerable advantages that come along with living a life that is focused on serving God. God possesses the ability to take something that is ruined and transform it into something that is lovely. Simply, having faith in something or someone is all that is required of you, despite the fact that its size is comparable to that of a mustard seed. The devil wants you to be anxious about what will happen in the future, so that you won't be able to take pleasure in what is occurring in the here and now. The devil is a liar, since that is his essential character trait. Put a stop to all of your anxiety over the situation. Maintain a focus on God at all times and make the most of each day to bring glory to Him and express gratitude for all that He has done in your life. If you believe in God, please show your support by liking and sharing this video. You will be able to think more creatively about potential solutions to the situation at hand if you are able to keep your calm in the middle of any struggle. Trust is a state that naturally leads to tranquility because of its inherent nature. Just let go of the assumption that you should be able to figure out everything and you give yourself permission to be guided by whichever component of the circumstance is puzzling you. This is all that has to be done. Because of this, you won't get caught up in overanalyzing the scenario or overreacting to the challenges it. Everything will work out perfectly in the end. It is only a matter of time. You are now getting yourself ready for it right at this very second. You can show your love and blessings by giving thanks up to $100. Just give everything a chance to unfold as it would normally. You should pay attention to the suggestions that are provided to you and start being more consistent with your attempts to improve yourself in order to succeed. Put your faith in the activities that are taking on at this very moment. You are about to experience a dramatic simulation of what the future holds in store for you and how things are going to play out. You are going to receive a promotion very rapidly to a position that will offer you an extraordinary number of advantages and rewards in the very near future. This promotion is going to take place very soon. As a direct consequence of your good fortune, the people around you will be filled with pleasure and faith as a direct result of the wonderful experience that you will have. This will be a direct effect of your good fortune. A courteous demeanor requires both a ready temperament and respectful actions. 
Even if you don't go looking for them, miraculous things will keep happening to you throughout your life. Continue forward with full confidence, knowing that you will be successful in attaining your objectives and bringing about the miraculous materialization of your aspirations. If you continue down this road, if you continue forward, you will bring about the miraculous materialization of your aspirations. It is inconceivable that something like this could ever make any kind of sense at all. Since every part of the universe is shrouded in enigma, there is no reason why your travels should be any different from the rest of the cosmos. Develop a strong emotional connection with the unpredictability that lies and wait for you in the future. Imagine if you already have full control over the achievement of all of the most important goals and desires you have ever had. You should have aspirations that are as large as you possibly can, but you should check out any ideas that you have that are going to really become a reality. 222. Your romantic life will undergo a transition that will result in its blossoming into something so beautiful that it will practically heal you and give you a new lease on life. As a direct consequence of this change in your romantic life, you will experience an increase in both your physical and mental vitality. If you believe, type 222, the presence of God has been made known to us and He has communicated to us the following message. I want to help you and I want to comfort you. I adore you very much. Your failures will never compare to the magnificence of the plan that God has fashioned expressly for you to follow in your life, holds onto your patience and in all you do. Always remember to offer gratitude to God for what you have. You should experience joy alongside those who are experiencing joy and you should experience inconsolable sorrow. Alongside those who are experiencing inconsolable sorrow. God promises that you will all of a sudden have enough money to pay off all of your bills and provide something special for your children. This will come as a complete surprise to you. I am reorganizing everything in such a manner that it will be more advantageous to you in the long run. Put your whole trust in Jesus Christ and recognize that God is in charge of everything else in your life. This is the most advantageous way to proceed through life. The tremendous power of monetary assistance. Miracles and blessings that are on their way to you from the universe are about to bring about a change in your life that will be noticeable in some manner. Get ready to have your trust restored and know that I am placing you in position to experience everything that you have asked for. God has made his voice heard, and he has stated, I am repairing the broken pieces of your life. God says, I will openly admit that there are occasions when I feel that they are acting in a manner that is not just, and I will do so now. But, O oh Lord, God, as I reflect back on certain situations, I can now see how you have been there the whole time, working things out so that they are to my advantage, even though I did not understand it at the time. You have been working things out so that they are for my benefit, even though you have been working things out. This criteria can in no manner be disregarded under any circumstances. During the course of the next week, you are going to see a momentous occurrence in your life that will leave you speechless. Something that you have been hoping for crossing your fingers will finally materialize for you at some point. It is essential to maintain an attitude of openness and acceptance. I just wanted to take a minute to express my gratitude to you for all the beautiful things that you have given to my life. I am aware of the fact that I have not earned your love yet. Despite this fact, you have been patient with me. All glory and honor to the Father who is forever. I just wanted to take a moment to show my appreciation to you for all of the amazing things that you have done to my life. I am grateful. Your salvation from God will come in the form of an interruption to the plans that you have formed. If the door can be closed after it has been opened and closed, then it is in the correct position to be closed. 
please don't go insane, all right? Because the drive for financial success is at the heart of a diverse range of other types of dishonest behavior. Certain individuals have drifted away from the faith and have caused a great deal of suffering for themselves by doing things that they know are not right in order to satisfy their unquenchable desire for material gain. 444 starting the week following. All the love, healing, and financial prosperity that is justly given to you will start to pour into your life in the way that it is rightly supposed to. If you believe in God, type 444. Everything that God is working on within you and through you at this precise moment is part of a flawless preparation for a future that only He can see. This preparation is for a future that only He can see. These steps are being taken in preparation for a future that no one but He can glimpse. I am conscious of the challenges you have faced as a direct consequence of this situation. You should be aware, however, that despite the depth of my affection for you, I will never put you in a circumstance that is out of your league or beyond the scope of your talents. The reason for this is that I care about you a great deal. It is a waste of time to wish that things were different, since nothing will ever change no matter how many days you spend away wishing that things were different. I want to reassure you that you won't constantly be experiencing these experiences. Please allow me to explain. You should never give up. Keep in mind that the size of the harvest will correspond to the number of seeds planted. Whoever plants a small number of seeds will get a little crop, and whoever plants a great number of seeds will get a huge harvest. Today, God wants to communicate with you about something so make sure you're paying attention. It is imperative that you do not lose sight of the fact of the difficulties you are presently facing are not going to be with you indefinitely, that you are worn out as something that I am well aware of it. It won't be long before God intervenes in your life through a miraculous event on your behalf. In a relatively short amount of time, there will be new prospects that may be investigated after a stretch in which things became progressively worse. It appears that things are now turning around for the better. The capacity to recover from wounds is shown signs of increasing visibility. If you are currently reading this, then it is a sign from God that the times in your life that will bring you the most joy are already here and just waiting for you to experience them. It is important that only positive ideas come into your brain. When you are focused on the many aspects of the manifestation that you are working on right now, a pronouncement from God, may the good pleasure of the Lord be upon you. He is able to magically rescue you from the predicaments. You are in and raise you up in your life because you were clinging to Him. Everything that has happened as a result of the fact that you are clinging to Him is due to this. Wait till some time has passed before you take action. Do not let your want for instant fulfillment blind you to the numerous factors that are now working in your favor. So don't let the surge distract you. This should not be done, even if you don't see everything materializing right away. It doesn't mean that good things aren't going your way or that they aren't already in the works even if you don't see everything materializing immediately, it doesn't mean that wonderful things aren't heading your way. Even if you don't see everything materializing right away, it doesn't mean that great things aren't heading your way. Just be patient. Keep in mind how essential it is to have patience as well as loyalty. Maintain your confidence in God. God says that you have the capacity to achieve a lot of things. But if you don't have devotion, then you won't be successful at any of them. If you don't have dedication, then you won't be successful at any of them. Help me get the word out by sharing this video. Thank you. Make sure that I am informed of all of your plans at the beginning as it is the most important thing. I will form them according to what I believe will provide you the greatest amount of happiness throughout your life. 
and I will shape them appropriately. You are the apple of my eye. It is not meant for all people to understand what you are saying, which is precisely why not all people. To understand what you are saying, make an effort to prevent yourself from being disheartened. I get what you were trying to communicate. You are the apple of my eye. The miracle that you so desperately need is currently en route to you at this very moment. Put an end to your fretting because an important event is due to take place in your life very soon. I have no doubt that you and the people you care about the most will prevail, despite the difficulty of the situation. Don't freak out over it. There's no need for you to worry about being dragged down by any obstacles that you might be facing right now, since I am able to carry the weight of the entire world on my shoulders. Sense of this, you do not need to worry about being dragged down. God says, if you make my participation in all of your plans for this week a top priority, I will make sure that everything goes well for you. I ask that you give this some thought because the star of a whole new week has just arrived. You should try to have positive attitude. I pray that God would bestow His grace and mercy upon you and everything that is taking place in your life because they demonstrate respect for another person's praise and thankfulness. Put a person on the greatest loving frequency that is possibly attainable. The following books make up the sacred scriptures, the ancient Hebrews held, the conviction that the act of conferring a blessing on someone might, in addition to bringing about happiness, bring about success in all parts of life. This view was based on the idea that the practice of bestowing a blessing on someone could be traced back to biblical times. They possessed an innate comprehension of the power that is bestowed upon those who are blessed. This is what God is attempting to teach us. Those who have high aims and an even more broad purpose will frequently find themselves confronted with the most difficult problems and issues throughout their life. God is trying to tell us that those who have lofty goals in an even more expansive purpose will frequently find themselves confronted with the most difficult challenges and issues. Challenges and adversity will find its way to those individuals so that they may mature into the type of people who are ready to take on the kind of life they want for themselves in the future. This is necessary in order for them to be able to deal with this kind of life they envision for themselves in the future. Every single challenge that you are required to overcome has a specific purpose in everything that you experience, provides a chance for you to develop further as a person. The path to greatness is often one that winds its way through a complex maze of difficulties. I beg you, Lord, if you could assist me in putting the happenings of the past to rest, it would be much appreciated as it will allow me to face the here and now with an open mind and heart. I want and pray that other people may get some benefit from my experiences and insights. I am struggling to see the positive aspects of the world around me, the people I interact with, and even myself, and I need your assistance. I also need your assistance to recognize the positive qualities that I possess. I would love it if you could think of me in a way that was grateful as well as happy. Please do that for me. Help me to live a life that is as selfless and loving as the one you have chosen for yourself, and thank you for your assistance in doing so. Amen. 333. The Petition That You Presented to God The previous night was brought to his attention in response to what you asked of him. He was acutely aware of the horror, pain, uncertainty, and suffering that he was presently experiencing in the present time. Type 333 if you have faith. He witnessed the tears you cried out of concern for your family, your children, your friends, and the circumstance in which you found yourself. Additionally, he witnessed the tears that you wept for your own well-being 
You are hearing the voice of God right now, and He is telling you for every teardrop and for every sleepless night. I have a blessing for you at some time in the future you will move on from this location. I have given the instruction to a group of angels to make a way for you to pass through, and they will be at the location in a minute. You won't have to go through the Saguenay for much longer. It will be over very soon. I promise you that you are about to get my favor in heaven along with blessings, healing, miracles, and solutions to your problems. In the event that something occurs that brings you down from the high you were, previously experienced, keep telling yourself that all good is coming from this situation and keep doing so until you believe it. And there will be a fulfillment of this gathering knowledge from each interaction that will prove to be beneficial later on. You are going to notice that once you have won over a difficult circumstance, you will feel a degree of happiness that is more than it has ever been for you before in any other time in your whole life. Happiness level will be higher than it has ever been for you in any other time in your entire life. Do you not consider it to be a positive development in the course of events right now? The fate of your whole existence is up in the air. It is conceivable that you will start to actively pick your ideas, and if you do so, you will be able to change your life. Regardless of where you are in your life right now or what has happened to you up to this point, if you choose to actively select your thoughts, you will be able to change your life. There is no such thing as an adverse circumstance that cannot be improved upon as there is no such thing as an unfavorable scenario. There is always opportunity for development in a situation. You have the power to make practically all of the changes you want to make in your life. To get this blessing simply, type yes into the box below. The thoughts that you are having right now will be the most important factor in determining the path that your life will take in the years to come. Your ideas are the primary components that go into creating you as a living being because you are constantly thinking about it. Stands to reason that you are always engaged in some kind of productive activity. Your life will be an exact reflection of the things that occupy the bulk of your thoughts and on which you focus the majority of your attention. This statement holds true regardless of whether you believe it or not. It is not feasible to have both positive feelings and unpleasant ideas at the same time when experiencing happy emotions. The upbeat thoughts that have been floating about in your brain as of late have contributed to the cheerful disposition you are currently experiencing. In this life, there is no limit to what you are capable of doing. The only constraint is your own mental ability. In other words, there is no limit to what you are able to do. On the other hand, there is a catch. In order to join you, need to be in a cheerful mindset. If you take everything into account doesn't, it seems that you've gotten as much as you possible could have asked for. The act does not include any flaws contrary to popular belief before our very eyes. Your grandeur is being brought to life in all of its splendor. Your beacon of guidance is flashing with an ever-increasing radiance. Nobody or anything can stop what has already been decided to take place in your life. It is a predestined move closer to accomplishing the goal. You've envisioned for yourself in the future. Please, ask your friends to watch the video and share with them if you want to make an attempt to address the current situation with an appreciative attitude. It will make your life much easier. You have progressed quite a ways to reach this point, but there is still a great deal more for you to learn, and your growth will continue in the years to come. Always remember to be grateful for whatever you've learned along the road. Take advantage of the possibilities that are presented to you so that you may make the most of both the circumstances as they already exist in the situation that you are currently in. Congratulations! You have gained clarity on God's will for your life. You have made it through the difficult phase that you were going through and ended it effectively. 
At this point, you should have started to experience the miracles that have already begun taking place around you for the better. These changes should have a positive impact on your life. It is true that I am the one who has selected you to improve your health, your financial position and your general level of contentment. Yes, this is a statement of truth. It is also true that I am the one who has chosen you to improve your total level of happiness. If you agree, type yes in the ox. You are going to receive an enormous quantity of additional advantages and rewards as soon as you are promoted to a job that is going to be assigned to you very soon. As a direct result of the overwhelming sense of joy and faith that those who are close to you will experience as a direct result of the enormous satisfaction that you will feel. This is going to be the case because you are going to experience it. Keep an open mind at all times. Put on your thinking hats for this one to you. God is saying today, keep in mind that the only thing that differentiates a good day from a bad day is your state of mind. To be successful in overcoming each day. It is vital to recognize that you are the one who is responsible for the formation of the energy that constitutes that particular day. Only then can you hope to emerge victorious. It's the same as having the weekend off as long as you don't let your external responsibilities determine how you feel on the inside. You are accountable for everything that occurs. You are the one who is responsible for creating your own experiences. A completely new and enchanting blessing arrives with the passing of each and every minute. You are the recipient of God's direct communication today. Out stressing over things that you can't change and go on with your life, you have no power to change the situation. I am here to take responsibility for it, and I have shown up precisely three days from now. You will have an in-depth comprehension of the subject. This deviation from the plan you had in mind was God's method of guaranteeing that you will remain safe. She was the object of his first and only romantic interest. He is not at all too far removed from you in any way. You won't have to rely on other people for financial assistance anymore. You'll be able to participate in the activities that offer you the greatest pleasure, and you'll be able to provide your loved ones the very best. By pressing the like button on this video, you may express some form of affirmation. In the next week, all of your good fortune will increase to a level that is three times more than it was before preparing to make them feel at home at your establishment. If you believe in God, it is important that you watch this video all the way through until it is finished. Cover your eyes with your hands and picture yourself. Leading the kind of life you truly wish to have, focus on the specifics as you give a description of how it seems, how it feels, and how it smells as you are doing so now that you've closed your eyes, open them again and be ready to be astounded as the things you imagine come to life in the actual world. You will quickly be commemorating a very major occasion that will take place very soon and is approaching very quickly to an exceptional extent joy and pleasure are going to overwhelm you to the point that you can hardly contain them. You won't be able to grasp your brain around how quickly everything happens for you, and you could even start to question. If it came from another planet, you won't be able to wrap your head around how quickly everything happens for you. Get ready to cope with it by preparing yourself. You should get yourself ready for it. It is now safe to say that it has arrived at its destination. As the Word of God goes, you are going to start laughing again. You are going to start trusting again, and you are going to start loving again. You are going to begin your love life all over again. I'm going to make up for all that you've let slip through your fingers by helping you in the future. God is now working on writing your tale from the very first letter to the very last. Do not give up on your entire system of beliefs just onto the fact that there are still certain things that you have not experienced for yourself. If you agree, type yes. There is no reason for you to be worried about anything at all. 
since all of your concerns will be alleviated and everything will work out just as it ought to have. Put your faith in the procedure. Acknowledge that you are responsible for the energy that you are sending out into the world and observe as your goals. Start to materialize in front of your very eyes as you put your confidence in the process. The Lord God says, I am grateful to you for the substantial amount of effort that you are presently devoting to the completion of this task. I am pleased to see the amount of work that you are putting forward and I want you to know how happy it makes me. You are the apple of my eye. I have a plan and place for your life. And the goal of that plan is to make sure that everything works out for the greatest end that is possible given the circumstances, even though you might be feeling confused or upset right now. It is important that you do not lose sight of the fact that I have contacted you. As a result of the current situation of the globe, the inhabitants of this planet are forced to endure a tremendous lot of agony, misery, and the feeling that they have been betrayed by, on the other hand. In addition to that, it possesses a sizable quantity of happiness, amazement, and beauty inside its framework. Give the bulk of your attention to the positive things that this planet can supply you with and make those the primary focus of your thoughts. Pay attention to the things that this world can provide you with additionally make an effort to produce something constructive out of the pain that already exists in the world. Permit it to have an effect on who you are by permitting it to contribute to your growth. If you give them permission to do so, God promises that His benefits will chase you down and overwhelm you if you give them. That permission you are going to find out that you are just where you should be at the exact moment that you should be there when others have a favorable image of you. They are more inclined to go out of their way to help you. This is especially true if you are in a position of need. All of my best wishes for you are being sent your way from every possible direction. It's possible that God led you to believe that you are being rejected at the same time that He was shielding you from something that was going to take your place in life, kill you, and take away your destiny. Keep in the back of your mind that God is something magnificent to prepare for you and keep this thought in the forefront of your mind at all times. I decree that you will have amazing physical health, a constructive thinking success and abundance, healthy relationships, meaningful connections, serenity and advancement in all aspects of your life, including spiritually mind and finances. I also proclaim that you will have wonderful physical health and progress in all aspects of your life. We pray for God's favor, His blessings and the fulfillment of our hopes and dreams via the work that we do. Whatever it is that you have planned to achieve this week, I am quite certain that you will be successful in doing whatever it is that you want to do. When others have a favorable image of you, they are more inclined to go out of their way to help you. This is especially true if you were in a position of meat. You are being lavished with all the good things that I have in store for you right now. 1111. There is no reason for you to be concerned about the next occurrence in your life because it will not affect you in any way. There is nothing else for you to do but have a great deal of trust in me and to put in a lot of effort. If you believe, type 1111. I will see to it that the appropriate person, I'll get in touch with you at the earliest opportunity. I have been keeping a careful watch on. You and moving ahead, I intend to continue doing so. I will not let up on my surveillance. God says, I will give you strength when you feel like you can't go on. God has given us this promise to hold on to. I am able to help you feel better. If you are unhappy and want to feel better, if this is what you want, I can make it happen for you. If it seems like there's no way out of this situation, I will find one instead of worrying about anything at all. You should focus your attention on praying for aid with everything. Thank God for what He has already done for you and then tell Him what it is that you require from Him in the future. Since this is a promise that God has made to you, 
The next doors that open for you will place you in a situation where you will never again have to beg or fight for anything. And this will be the case because of the promise. Moses has been made aware of God's presence, and God has told Moses, I am going to send people resources and financial provisions to you that you have never imagined. It appears as though things are about to take a different turn for you in the not-too-distant future. If you can only be patient, you will soon understand why God had you wait as long as you have. The things that God is accomplishing are much beyond anything. May you ever aspire for or even grasp. They are far beyond everything that you could even imagine. These things go far beyond anything that you could ever hope for or picture in your wildest dreams. Be joyful in the hope that you have be strong while you are being persecuted and commit yourselves to regular prayer at this trying time. May God bless you. God interacts with humanity by communicating with them and telling them things like, My child, come to me with great expectation knowing that I am your God. I am going to help you overcome the level of frustration that you are currently experiencing by assisting you and moving past it. Because of me, you will soon be freed from the restrictions of your incarceration and allow you to lead a more normal life. I am putting you in a position of fulfillment and favor that is unequal to anything else that you have come across in your life up to this point in time. The time that was spent waiting is finally up. It is essential to have a positive outlook and to look for opportunities to inspire those around you during this time of the year. I am the dependable one in this situation could have stopped it at the first. Second, it continues. If it is the will of God, then it will happen and there is nothing that can stop it from taking place. If it is the will of God, then there is nothing that can stop it from happening in the extremely remote possibility that this is not the case. God has something even more wonderful in store for us. Unwind and accept that you are conscious of this reality while you do so. God had responded to Elijah's question regarding his future by telling him, I'm going to bring you from obscurity to notoriety. Elijah had questioned God about his destiny. You have shown me respect by being reliable, putting forth a lot of effort and honoring me in this way. Therefore, be ready because I have some fantastic news for you. 22, 22, 20. You are going to have the most impeccable timing possible. Things are heading in the right direction and getting closer to where they need to be. Disparate elements of the jigsaw are gradually coming together to form a whole put on your thinking hats for this one. If you want this blessing, type 222. It has been said by the Lord you will wait. It will bring tears to your eyes. There will be times when you seriously consider giving up, but you can't give up just yet. There is reason to have hope in that regard. You should brace themselves for the possibility of being let down. There are challenging times that are still to come. You could feel as though the weight is getting heavier and heavier on you, but God will give you the strength to keep going through it all. 555. You are going to be presented with significant opportunities that are available to you in which you should make the most of you, will eventually be rewarded for your tenacity in one way or another. If you believe, type 555. The knowledge that the universe as a whole is keeping a watchful eye on everything guarantees that in the end, everything will turn out for the best. I am able to make it through each and every day and carry out the obligations that I have to take care of on a daily basis because of your generosity and grace. You have my utmost respect and admiration because of what you've done. My affection for you will never end, and I am indebted to you in the highest possible measure of regard. Right now, God is communicating with you in a personal way. No matter how significant something may appear to be, I will always be able to fix it. If it comes my way, I am the God that you adore, and I will aid you in your endeavors. 
You can count on me to remain by your side during the good times, as well as the bad ones regardless of what may come our way. Whatever the situation may be, I will always be here for you. If you believe in God, please show your support by liking and sharing this video. I am fully aware of the fact that there are moments when it may be difficult to have trust in one's own capabilities. There are occasions when I find it difficult to have faith in my own talents. Despite the fact that I created you with a great deal of potential that has not yet been utilized, you must always keep in mind this. If there is a potential for other people to be successful, then there's a chance for you to be successful as well. You are someone in whom I put my faith. If you could please quit being so pessimistic all the time, it would be much appreciated to stop pulling yourself down to the same level as everyone else. Stop bringing yourself down. Put a stop to the self-deprecating conduct you've been engaging in. You have triumphed over the other competitors and won this competition. I am the one who can comfort you in times of need, so come to me when things become tough. Instead of turning to drink when things become tough, you can count on me to be your pillar of strength. And the reason why you should not lose hope, despite the fact that fresh beginnings are occurring, I am aware of your desire to make adjustments to the way your life is currently going. I will back you up in anything you decide to do. It is impossible to make significant success in this endeavor without first making a genuine sacrifice. If you continue to lead the same kind of lifestyle that brought you to the point where you want to make changes in the first place, it will be impossible for you to make those adjustments in your life. 12. Your life. Your life will start to become better as soon as you cut ties with the negative people who have been a part of it. And as soon as you come to the realization that you want to make me the major focus of your life, your life will start to get better. If you believe in God's plan, type 1212. Do you long for some rest and relaxation? Do you long for some tranquility and peace? I'd want to extend you an invitation to take a Bible, open it to the first page, and start reading it right away. As we become closer and you spend more time with me, you will discover that you have a greater capacity for independence. Type Amen to manifest. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more God's messages.